Hi friends, I'm gonna talk about some books that I wanna to recommend to you to check out. So I'm gonna start off with two collections that we have. Everything I have here to talk to you guys about today is new books, so this is so cool because these are like brand new. You're gonna be one of the first people ever to check them out from our library. Um, so when I tell you about a book today, if you want to check it out and read it, what you need to do is go to Koha, search for the book that I'm talking about and put it on hold, okay? And then you can come pick it up at school. Don't forget that on your Google Classroom, there's instructions about how to put books on hold, how to pick them up in all of um, our book checkout system, okay? So the first thing I wanna talk about is um, we have four new I Survived books. So a lot of you guys love these I Survived. Um, I'm gonna just kind of show you the covers on these. If you've never read I Survived, they are books, they are um, fiction, but they are based on real life events that's called um, historical fiction. Um, and each one is about a disaster, a real life disaster that happened, like floods and hurricanes and tornadoes. Um, so this first one is called The Great Molasses Flood of 1919. Another new one we got was the Joplin Tornado of 2011. I got the Hindenburg Disaster of 1937. And if you want, you can always just pause the screen to write down the title and the author when you look to look it up on Koha. And the last new one I have is the eruption of Mount St. Helens in 1980. And it looks like, believe it or not, they are all the same author. So if you want to check out one of those, you just search the title in Koha and put it on hold. Okay, next I want to spotlight, I got a bunch, oh, I forgot one, sorry. The Great Chicago Fire of 1871. Okay, the next series that I bought um, quite a few new books in, and this isn't even all of them, but I'm gonna show you some of them, is the Who Was, What Was books. Um, so if you, these are another books that are about real people and real things. These aren't fiction though, these are biographies or they are nonfiction books. But it's this really cool series. The covers always look like this. It's always the person but with a big head. And um, they are nonfiction books about people and things that happened with pictures and they're really easy to read and they're really cool. I know a lot of you guys love these so I hope you check out the new ones. This is the one I'm most excited about that I got. I know we have a lot of soccer fans. So what is the World Cup? Who is Coretta Scott King? Who was Gandhi? Who is Hillary Clinton? What is the Constitution? And who was Dr. Seuss? So if you're interested in any of the brand new who was, what was books, those are the titles. You just search them on Koha. Um, let's see, what else do I wanna talk about today? Don't forget that I got the illustrated versions of the Harry Potter books. Um, I think we're missing one of them right now because it got damaged, but if you search for Harry Potter, um, it might help to look for Illustrated by Jim K, and that's how you'll know it's the Illustrated ones. But I mean, come on, look how awesome these are. Oh, they're Illustrated, you guys. It's Harry Potter, but Illustrated. It's so cool. If you have not read these yet, if you've never read Harry Potter, this would be a great way to start. Or if you have read Harry Potter, this is a really fun way to reread them. You can see Crookshanks and Scabbers. So you can check those out. Ow. Um, I'm gonna spotlight, let me spotlight a couple graphic novels. So um, we don't forget the Babysitter's Club. The confusing things about these is they're kind of writ they're written by different people. There's a couple authors. So um, if you're looking for the Babysitter's Club, um, you can just search that title or you can um, go to Google and find the exact book you want. So this one's called Claudia and Mean Jeannie, or Janine, sorry. So you can search that. This is the brand new one, Boy Crazy Stacy. Um, I still have to read this one, I can't wait. Um, so if you search those, you can put those on hold. And let's do one more graphic novel for today. Um, I also have two copies of um, Bird and Squirrel All Tangled Up which is a really funny graphic novel series. I have um, all the books 
They're um, in color, they're graphic novels, so if you don't know what that is, it's like comics. And these are really funny ones. So if you're um, wanting a good, funny, quick book to read, try the Bird and Squirrel series. Um, there's more than the, just this one, but I have two copies of this that just came in. So don't forget, you could go to Koha, put these on hold, and happy reading. Bye.